have some quick fire questions now. This is the MTV Speed Date. What's your go-to pizza topping? Prawn and black olives. Uh, olives and jalapeno. Cheese. Olives all round. Lots of cheese. You've got to get some olives in there. Yeah, bl yeah, black olives. What's your most used emoji? Go on. We know. Go on. Yeah. Admit it's it on actually, camera. It's actually the star. It, what? It is, I thought it was the angel face emoji. No, that's social media, and that's not run by me. Okay, so someone's so, yeah, just, someone's <clears throat> someone is okay. yeah. angelizing your social media yeah, a bit. Yeah. Okay, all yours right. is the star. Yeah, what's yours? Mine is the fist bump and the prayer hands. There's someone running your social media who is just obsessed with the angel emoji, basically. Yeah, we'll have to have a word with him now. I haven't, I haven't actually, you know, I'll have to have a look into that. What's in your pocket Looks right now? Gorilla emojis. From what's in my pocket? My hotel room key. A pistol and a snooker ball in a sock. Would you rather have fingers as long as arms or arms as long as fingers? Both. Why, why choose? I want them both. And, you know. I'm thinking about that. <laughs> I'm thinking about that. I think I'll, I'll continue to think about that forever now. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> if you could go on vacation anywhere in the world right now, where would it be? Why did you say vacation? What That's a that? very American word. What I is don't know that? Why we, I say said that. <laughs> we say holiday. We say holiday. We say holly bobs, to be fair. <laughs> holiday. What is that? What is a holiday? Yeah, right. That is a really nice concept, yeah, isn't explain, it? Unpack People that have holidays. For me. What does that mean? That means they, well, they, they take time off of work to go and off of... To be fair, our work can be like play sometimes. Yeah, I mean, that's it was true. fun doing I, this. I love doing what I if do. You, okay, if you go anywhere, you know what? I've never been to China. Never been. I'm interested to go. I've heard yeah. it's it's all it's all happening. I'd love to go to China as well. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. The movie's got such a great cast, and I'd love to know what your funniest or most memorable moment from filming is. There were so many good moments on set, <clears throat> in between so much <clears throat> hard work that had to get done that it would be hard to pick out and isolate a specific moment for me um, because it was quite full on. So it was like moving from one event to another, and, and it was it was it was top heavy with with options that needed to get done that day. You sound like basically it was the most depressing. No, <laughs> ever. It was like it was. So really she's like. Could you, think of a funny, could you think of a fun, fun moment? No, like, kind of no going, we were working too hard for we it to be that funny. We were working <laughs> really hard, <clears throat> trying not to screw it up for all the fans because you yeah. know, comic book fans are like die-hard fans, and you know you're lucky to have that kind of following around a, a movie even before it's come out. And there's so many people stopping us on the streets asking about Venom. It's the kind of thing where you just you want to try and get it right. So everyone was just putting their 110% yeah. focus in, to be honest. That was really what we were concentrating on. Is there a particular question fans have been asking the most about Venom? What have they asked you? Is it going to be R-rated? Mm. That's the big question. And the answer's been answered, isn't it? It's it, a 15 it, in the UK. It, and it's a PG-13 in the States. But yeah. to be fair, the thing can fulcrum into R-rated and can fulcrum into, you know, you for, for children I and mean, my littlest ones. They watch Spider-Man and Venom quite comfortably, and Venom toys are, are appear and Lego appear in my nostril of the morning. Do you know what I mean? So <clears throat> it's not like they're scared by him. But at the same yeah. time, there is a lot within the real estate that you can actually imbue with a, a, a complete sense of gratuitous to violence if you really wanted to. And I think you've got the right people for that job if you want to push it, because that's where I'd love to go with it. And I'd love to go through all the Avengers as well with him. But that's above my pay grade. Riz, maybe you could have a word. Do uh, you want me to talk to the Avengers and tell them that you want to have a fight with them? The, Venom wants, to, the Venom wants to fight the Avengers. Like it's a campaign, a little audition. See, this is to thing, say, Please, I, will you take us on? Please. And if not, we, 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 we're more than happy to stand alone. We have a Venom verse and 900 characters to play with, but I think there's a little bit of... You want to, you kind of want to play with them, don't oh, you? Yeah, I bit. want to rock with the established family, why not? I yeah, mean, okay. Not me, personally, cool. but I think that, that, that's an essential element. I'd watch element, that. Right? Would you watch that? I would love to see that. So I we have to would establish to initial communication with Venom, don't we, and say this is an introduction this to... This is Venom himself, before it starts, he starts biting off the faces of other... Others. How do you think Venom would get on with the Avengers? Who would he be able to take on? I think I he'd just try and eat all of them. Yeah. That's that's the thing with Venom, it's not really so much like good and evil, it's like, am I hungry or am I not? Yeah. Yeah, and if that's you're hungry, like you'll try and eat. You might try and eat the Hulk. Yeah, anything that breathes. I think Venom and Hulk <clears throat> is is a good matchup. That's going to be hard to eat. That is well, you never know. You go for it, though, aren't you? you the thing is, there's it. no backing down on Venom, and it's a fantastic wall to play with with the symbiotes yeah. because they're they're a different breed of super. It's not really superhero, but it's an enhanced and in the super the beings. Because being, yeah. heroes suggest that they're out there to do heroic acts, and, and but good. Venom isn't really thinking in those terms. No, it doesn't trade on that that level, does it? Of like good or bad, it's more just what is and what's paradoxical and what is grey. Can you imagine him on that side of being good or is he more of a villain? He's more of a, like about himself. 
he's a very <laughs> self-centered character and contained in that aspect but you know it's i think he's very much he who has the biggest hands eats the most so mm. there's something quite mercenary but about. but it's when you put eddie brock and venom together it's yes. interesting is because it's almost like the both the characters are learning the same lesson because eddie brock starts off he's just out for himself i mean he's trying to save the world with his journalism and his investigative reports but he's also kind of out for himself he's willing to do ruthless things to get his story and his scoop and venom is basically out for himself trying to just you know eat as much as possible you know, do what the aliens came in to do. And over the course of the film, it's about them both trying to learn this journey of like, actually, we need to make space for other people in our lives. And the thing that teaches them that lesson is that they've got to make space for each other in the same body. Yeah. So because they're forced to live with each other, they realize how they also have to live with other people. And his character is pretty much the same as Eddie Brock, but <clears throat> as a rocket and just, you know. Yeah. And, well, have a rocket. Billionaire, a rocket, yeah. billionaire the... industrialist. <laughs> scientific genius um, is trying to save the world. I would say is that not to, not exactly the same as Eddie Brock. Carbon, to be yeah, fair. It's not a mirror image to of, be fair. of Eddie Brock, yeah. So I wonder what he would make of like Tony Stark then. Yeah. What would my character make of Tony Stark? Or your character. I think my character would think that Tony Stark is it's brilliant you know, great all those toys he's making. Those toys look like a lot of fun. But I'm actually trying to save humanity got bigger fish to fry. Because I imagine if they're in the same universe, they might have bumped into each other at parties or something. I don't think so. I think Carlton Drake really, I don't think that party scene, the Tony Stark party scene is really up his street. Like, definitely rivals, aren't they? Like I'm picking up this as sort of... Tony <laughs> likes to think of them as rivals, but Carlton's just focused on the, on the main goal here, which is making sure humanity's got a future.